Thanks, Haley and Ashley. More than 100 million Americans use a credit card to shop. And with the average interest rate reaching up to 28%, pulling out the plastic could cost you more than you bargained for. And there are some changes on the way that could make you think twice before you say, charge it. There are more than 600 million credit cards in the U.S., but it was retailers who took credit card companies to court back in 2005 over fees that the retailers didn't want to pay. A New York district court decided last July that retailers can pass along those swipe fees to their customers at every transaction. Analysts say a business that adopts this policy is going to push customers away, but Main Street Morgantown Executive Director Terry Cutright thinks many are overreacting. And if you think back to when banks started to put service fees on checking accounts and it was kind of all the buzz and then after a while it just kind of faded off of everybody's radar screen. And now this new policy could add up to 4% to your total at checkout. So on a $100 purchase expect six more dollars in sales tax and another four dollars just for using your credit card. Many businesses, including vintage videos and games in Morgantown, are shying away from implementing the fees, even at the cost of their bottom line. I think they make enough money <laughs> on the cards as it is. I don't, I don't think it's a fair thing to do, but it's the cost of doing business. Ten states have already banned these fees, but the Mountain State isn't one of them. Now it will be up to the individual stores if they want to use the extra fees. Retail giant Walmart has already gone on record saying that they will not pass on the additional fees. The extra charges will only be applied to credit cards, while debit cards will not be affected. Haley and Ashley, back to you.